Well, it's magic. That's how it works. I'm getting a lot of questions on the Nokia 9 PureView. You folks are jumping into my comments and just, you know, how's it compare against a Pixel? Where's the full camera review? What's going on? I need more photo samples. What's happening with the raw capture? I need y'all to pump your brakes. This is a crazy camera experiment to wrap my brain around. And I really need to spend a little bit more time with it, sort of untangling all of the things that Nokia is trying to accomplish with this phone. Anyone who's out there in this first week saying, well, here's what you need to know about the pure view camera is probably wrong. This is a very unique system with a very different set of pros and cons for us to kind of dig our teeth into. Not the least of which is this new method of depth mapping. This is a major component, a major aspect of the phone. So we've been looking at five cameras, but that little depth sensor is really what's bringing something special to this photo look that we've been trying to accomplish purely through software. So yeah, we've got three monochrome camera sensors, two RGB camera sensors, but in every mode, every main photography mode, auto, pro, bokeh mode, you can apply depth information, which then you can take into your Google Photos app to dial up or dial back the amount of bokeh blur. I really wanted to show this off. I, I'm enlisting the help of a model, <laughs> just so you can see some of the differences in what I'm talking about. Because I think like a fair comparison, throwing this up against something like the Pixel 3, where Google software does an amazing job of highlighting your subject, cutting them out, but then just applying sort of a wash blur behind them. Uh, it looks pretty good, but it's a dead giveaway that this didn't come from a real camera focus, depth of field focus fall off. What Nokia is trying to do now is measure that distance between the phone, your subject, and the surrounding environment to apply different levels of blur to those different distances. I've been throwing up test photos of like flowers and stuff on Instagram. I'm still getting those comments like, oh, well, it's still software blur, it's garbage. Uh, there's something special happening here. This is a little bit different and why I'm a bit more excited about what Nokia is trying to accomplish. You can see objects immediately behind get a different amount of blur than objects further behind. It's way more natural. It's not going to replace a traditional camera lens, and I seriously doubt that this type of processing will anytime soon, but this is an important and significant step towards democratizing this type of photography for everybody, that this, this can now just be a part of the phones that live in our pockets. It's a much more photographic look. It's a much more natural look than just cut out subject, blur background, which kind of looks like a YouTube thumbnail these days. So there's a lot more to untangle with a phone like this. And, and especially for those of you who've been throwing out those questions like, oh, but what about Nokia PureView versus Google Night Sight and those types of solutions? I'm putting a little less pressure on just what are the pure software processing capabilities of a phone like this, because I'm hoping that someone will just rip the Google camera APK in a form that'll be compatible with this phone. The ones that I've tried so far don't work on the pure view, so I'm still digging through that. But pure, you know, something like Night Sight is just software. There is no amount of software that can correctly uh, apply this type of depth and distance blurring on a pixel. So again, this is where we're still, still so early in the conversation on the Nokia 9 PureView. We need to spend a little bit more time with it, but I promise you there's gonna be a ton of conversation on this phone, a phone I'm silly excited for at the beginning of 2019. So I'm gonna have the full camera review out as soon as I can collect samples and really analyze what's going on. I'm gonna have the full audio review, some surprises for, uh, for the audio review, especially for headphone quality, some, some, some things to talk about there. And then of course, just reviewing the whole phone as a phone, just because I feel like it's a limited edition sort of fan service solution doesn't mean that it gets a pass on all of the normal smartphone aspects too. A lot to talk about. But yeah, for us camera nerds, especially those of you who are totally into like mojo, mobile journalism, I, the reason I'm not holding up my Nokia 9 PureView for this video is because I'm using the front camera on the Nokia 9 to shoot this 4K video. I did all of the editing and rendering on the phone to produce this 4K video. I just have it propped up on a tripod and I'm using a little Samson wireless mic to do my audio feed here. 
I, this is why I'm getting more and more excited about some of these crazy camera and audio experiments coming out for mobile. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, not just talking about cool smartphone camera tech. There are so many more conversations we need to have about getting the most out of our gadget purchases. If you would like to support production on this channel, please head on over to somegadgetguy.com where you're going to find a support banner. It's gonna take you to a list of all of my current affiliates and partnerships, or you could also consider contributing directly on my Patreon campaign campaign, patreon.com slash some gadget guy. You get early access to videos, my patron exclusive reviews. And then also I just think it's becoming a really fun community of like-minded tech pals, some really fun conversations that we can dig into. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, where I've got some samples of the Nokia 9 peer view uh, and increasingly on the Twitches as I play a few more games. I'm here at Newegg, I should be playing more games and I will catch you all on the next video.